rise up. It's time for another episode of Spartivation, your podcast source for inspiration and motivation to get you through your Spartan body transformation. Here now is your host, the Spartan Doctore, Spartan Doctore, champion of growth. It is a glorious day to train and grow. I'm Ryan Masters, the Spartan Doctor, a certified strength and conditioning specialist, here to provide you with motivation and inspiration as you journey through your Spartan body transformation. Welcome to another episode of Spartivation, broadcast directly to you from Trifection Studios. Remember, if you find these episodes helpful, please be sure to subscribe and leave a review on iTunes so I know to produce more of them for you. Today we are continuing our dive into the Spartan Body Blueprint, which you can download for free at Spartivation.com. It's showing you how to build a ripped Spartan body with five hours or less a week. And we are looking at the, the ethos portion, and these are the attributes that you have to just continually embody if that is, is going to be your goal. And, and today it is, uh, we're looking at, you know, at practicing Spar discipline. Okay, which is kind of our take here on discipline. And a modern Spartan understands to get what he wants out of life, he must do whatever it takes. He refuses to be a cir- victim of circumstance or bend to the wind. He continually strengthens his iron will and resolve because he knows his ability to make himself do what he should do, when he should do it, is key to his success in life and conquering his enemies. And that really hits the nail on the head there. You know, your ability... To make yourself do what you should do, when you should do it, you know whether you feel like it or not, is the key to your success. Not only in building a Spartan body, but in anything in life. And it's also, you know, the master key to riches. Self-discipline is a master key to riches. So if you're, you know, out there training to get only not only stronger and a better body, but Overall, you'd like to increase your income levels so that you have more freedom. Well, this is your ticket. It's increasing increasing your self-discipline. And a good saying, you know, everything, everything in life has a cost. Everything does. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean monetary, but there's a cost for everything, whether it's, you know, energy, time, money, effort, you know, some combination of those. There's a cost for everything. Even a free a, a free workout program has a cost because it's going to cost take your time. And then if you invest your time in that free program and it doesn't do anything because it was crap, then now you have lost a lot. Uh, so there's always a cost to something. And so in thinking of that, you want to understand that, you know, discipline weighs ounces. So there's a cost there, you know, weighs ounces, but regret weighs tons so you don't want to be living a life well i'm going to assume that you don't want to be living a life where you're always looking back and being like man i wish i had done this i wish i had done that because that's just that's no way to live and the last then you certainly don't want to be on your deathbed and have all these unchecked things that you wish you had gone after or attempted and you failed to do because you weren't willing to pay that small cost and now you're paying a huge ton of cost so just keep that in mind, uh, something to you know, really keep you focused and in increasing your discipline. And, and and people who are you know going to be successful in building their Spartan body are willing to make sacrifices. Okay, and that's where the discipline comes in. You discipline yourself to make the sacrifices necessary in terms of you know putting down the soda, switching to diet soda, and then eventually switching to just water. Um, you know, kind of, it's kind of the idea of when we were kids, you know, you get your dinner first, then you get your dessert. You don't just jump right into dessert. Uh, you have to do the hard and necessary work first, and then you enjoy the rewards and payoff afterwards. That doesn't mean it's bad to want, you know, to want the dessert or want the, you know, less disciplined way. I mean, that's why there's so many popular quick fix workout programs. Uh, none of them obviously work, but they're sold a lot because we we just want to believe hey there's a simple no effort way that i can get abs and get a big chest and get ripped and get in shape but deep down if you you know again if you tap into that spartegrity you know that that's not true and uh that's why you're here and that's why you're listening to this and understanding that hey you know my ability to make myself do what i should do when i should do it is the key to my success not only in building a spartan body but in all areas of of life 
And and just keep in mind that um, you know everything is hard before it's easy. Now, that's not exactly the the most exciting news, but you know we're dealing with the truth here. So it's it's a matter of just understanding that hey, whenever I start something new, it's going to be hard at first, and then it's going to get easier. And it's so easy to look back. Just look at anything you did, whether it's learning how to drive, ride a bike, in your new position at a job, whatever. When you first started, it was hard, if you can remember that point. But then it got easy. So everything you start. So if you're just starting working out, it's going to be hard at first. But it gets easier. So the key is you just keep on doing it. You discipline, you apply smart discipline, discipline to yourself to continue doing it. And then it will start to get easy. And... Um, you know, another kind of benefit is practicing self-discipline releases endorphins that make you happy. So right off the bat, you've already got some wins there that in doing those, those making those tough decisions and sticking to your guns as far as making those sacrifices up front, you are releasing endorphins and training yourself and making yourself happy. That's why you kind of have, there's this weird phenomenon when you first start going to the gym, and you may remember this. When you first start going, those first weeks, maybe the first two to three weeks, it's like kind of hard to get yourself to go there. Uh, you really have to fight and really use that willpower discipline to get yourself to go there. But after somewhere between week two to three, you switch. And now all of a sudden, if you don't go to the gym, you you feel bad. You're like, oh man, like I'm bummed out today. I didn't make it to the gym. So it, it kind of does a role reversal. And that's because... Part of that is from you being used to getting those endorphins released from working out because you've been practicing and increasing your discipline. So, you know, keep that in mind. So let's talk about, uh, you know, I just want to give you three disciplines that you can start incorporating today and use if you just focus on these three, because we don't need to do tons, but you focus on these three, you're going to start making big improvements, not only in your fitness goals, but also throughout the rest of your life. And, And so the first is the discipline of daily goal setting daily goal setting. So focus and concentration are essential to success. So you've got to know, you know, what do I really want to do with my life and what is the purpose? And and we break that down into just, you know, we've talked about those already, but you, each day you should have one to three goals of this is what I want to accomplish today. And that kind of, you know, make it a game, make it fun, but that's really what lets you know if you're making progress is you set these goals of what you want to do each day and you have the discipline to focus and concentrate on those three goals. And number two, in the same line, is discipline of daily time management. And this is a huge one. You know, every minute that you spend planning can save you ten in execution. And if you're not if you're not working from a plan, you're simply just responding to the world. And that is no way to, to increase not only your income, but it's no way to live because you're going to lose so much time if you're spending your whole day just reacting to the world instead of pushing your will in what you want done on it. So that's why you want to make a list for the day. Ideally, you do it the night before so it can kind of resonate in your subconscious mind and write down you know what, what the tasks or the goals are for the next day and have that list of to-dos so that you are working from a list and operating from some type of plan. Now, you know, if you've never done that before, the the no, you know, it don't get too caught up in the technical details. Just real simple. Just write a have a little notepad, have a piece of paper, write it out. You don't need to write every single thing, but write, you know, start with at least the top 3 priorities for the day or 3 goals, and then you can add other tasks to that and just try to accomplish those the next day. Start there and continue working on that process and that discipline of daily time management will not only open doors to increase your income, but it's also going to give you what's more important, free, uh, more free time. And the, the last one is, you know, the discipline of courage. You got to force yourself to do what you know you should do. And we've talked about, you know, the fear of failure or loss is, is going to be your biggest um, roadblock to success because people are afraid of making mistakes and so they don't want to take any type of risk because they don't want to be criticized by their criticized by their coworkers or somebody saying they're doing something wrong. When in reality, all you need to do is is have that courage, which only comes you know again it comes from a habit of practicing, continuing to do it, and you can override that fear like we talked about by saying I can handle this, I can do it, and ultimately action cures fear. So when you combine these three disciplines. Uh, you're really going to set yourself apart in terms of not only 
increasing your physique and strength, but also free time and, and impact in other work, other areas of your life besides just fitness. So we want the discipline of daily goal setting, the discipline of time management, and the discipline of courage to force yourself to do what you know you should do. Now, no matter how disciplined you may or may not feel today, always remember, never retreat, never surrender, and keep moving forward.